Welcome to Bald Guy DIY. In this video, we're going to find out what happens when I push this button. I love homemade fireworks displays. Not homemade fireworks, but the ones you can buy at a convenience store or a local grocery store. But no matter how many times I try, I always find the weather conditions don't quite cooperate or my lighter won't light when the time comes. I thought about doing a DIY electric ignition system and when I was at the hobby store the other day I noticed that they sold kits like this, the igniters for about a dollar each and then a controller that was about $165. That was way too much but I thought if I took an Arduino and a set of programmable relays possibly I could simulate the same thing and achieve an ignition system of my own. In this video I'm going to give it a try. Let's get started. To start, I 3D printed a project box and I also printed this threaded bottle to use as the detonator. I wired up a switch for the detonator, which is just a simple switch that's going to be used. It looks kind of cool when it's all threaded together like it's an actual detonator for some explosives and that was what I was going for here. Let's take a look at the code. So I'm going to uh, iterate here eight different relays and then I'm going to use one button for the detonator and I'm going to have a couple different variables here that are used to store the position. Now the setup loop's quite simple. We're just gonna create a for loop here and it's going to iterate all of the uh, relays, set them all as outputs and then it's gonna set their values as high, which in this case of the relay module that I'm using is going to turn them all off by default. Also gonna set the detonator pin as an input and pull it up high as well. Now inside the loop function, I'm going to uh, simply turn all of the relays uh, low one at a time, delay 500 milliseconds, half a second, and then I'm gonna turn them all high. This should give us the result of all of them turning on and all of them turning off. Clicks are satisfying, so I changed it to 100 milliseconds and sped it up. With that fun out of the way, I'm gonna comment out the test sequence and gonna uncomment my actual code for the finished sequencer. It's very simple and all it's going to do here is read the value of the detonator into the detonator value. And then if the detonator value is low, meaning that the button has been pressed, it is going to turn the first relay, the relay at the sequence position low, which is gonna cause the relay to engage. It's gonna delay 100 milliseconds, and then it's going to turn that relay off. It's gonna add one to the sequence, meaning that the next time through the code, it is going to do the next relay in sequence. And then if it, the sequence sequence is greater than seven, meaning that it's stepped through all of them, the sequence number is gonna be reset to zero. Let's see it in action. Every time I press the button, different relay fires, and we can step through one click at a time. Put it all in the project box, took it out to an acreage to try out, and it just wasn't enough to light any of the fireworks. Every time I pressed the button, you could hear the click. You could see a little flash at the igniter, but it wasn't enough to light any of the fireworks. A couple days later, I changed the timing so that I was giving a full second for every press, and stepping through once again, every time I click, you'd see the flash, but nothing happened until about the sixth one when finally there was some smoke. One hit, I think. I did have one more that lit, but as you can see here, it was a bit of a dud. I think that was the firework itself. I tried some electric matches from the King of Random channel, and I thought they might work well, but I did have a little bit of difficulty getting them to light off as well. As you can see here, when I pressed the igniter, it did light off, but it wasn't good enough to actually light the fuse of the firework, and so it just fizzled away to nothing. All was not lost, however. I used the old-fashioned method, lit a few at a time, and here we go with some fireworks to enjoy for our few minutes. So, 
that project fizzled a little more than popped like I wanted it to. However, I think the sequencer worked great and with some refinements, the igniters can work consistently and give us that bang that we're looking for every time I push a button. I'm really looking forward to playing with it in the future and making it even better. If you've got a comment or suggestion of a different way that I can approach the igniters, you know, please leave it below. If you enjoy the projects we're making and if you gather any inspiration from them, please consider subscribing. You can be along for every bang or fizzle that we have along the way. And until next time, in all your DIY projects, whether they explode with success or fizzle in failure, don't be afraid to be balder.